Creepers! What's up, you crazy creeps? It's Klerski. I'm back. How the heck are you guys? It is a absolutely beautiful day here in Portland. And if you guys can see behind me all these beautiful trees. But I'm at one of the most beautiful cemeteries today here in Portland, Oregon. I am coming to you guys live, but not live, from Mount Calvary Cemetery located right here in Northwest Portland. And I've crept here before, so after this vlog, if you guys wanna go back and check out some of my previous vlogs that I've done from here, that would be awesome. You guys can also hit that like up button, you can hit the little subscription button, or you can even do me one better and hit that little bell. That way when I creep, you creepers will be the first to creep. But the reason why I bring you guys here today was to show you and to pay respects and homage to a gentleman that created a lot in his life, which we're gonna get into here in a minute. But first, we're gonna go check out the final resting place to Mr. Larry Keating. That's right, Mr. Larry Keating, better known as the snobby, kind of nosy next door neighbor to Mr. Ed. That's right, Mr. Ed, the talking horse, one of my favorite shows, even to this day. I get lucky and maybe catch a rerun on Nick at Night but I absolutely loved Mr. Ed. Uh, but Larry Keaton did a lot more than that. Um, one of his memorable roles was probably from the George Byrne and Gracie Alley show. Um, and he also did some movies as well, co-starring Don Knotts. Um, but we're gonna go over here and pay our respects. We're gonna check out the family mausoleum, I believe I pronounced that right. And then I'm going to tell you creepers a little bit more about what Mr. Larry Keaton accomplished in his life. And like I said, Mr. Ed, one of my favorite shows as a kid. I don't know if you guys remember that or if you do, I'd love to hear in the comment section some of your favorite Mr. Ed moments or if you guys remember Mr. Keaton from any other shows. Um, I just remember him from Mr. Ed. I totally remember him as the neighbor. He was one of the original members of the show that knew that Mr. Ed could talk other than Wilbur, um, but which that was really funny. Um, I absolutely loved him, the character. I loved Wilbur, I loved Mr. Ed, everything about that show. But we're going to creep right over here to Mr. Larry Keaton's final resting place, which is just right here, right here in front of us. And then I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about what he starred in, his roles, um, and then his untimely death, which I thought his dedication to TVs and movies throughout the years was incredible. Um, unfortunately, he died from leukemia, but continued taping Mr. Ed for four, uh, four episodes in one season, even though he knew he was diagnosed. Um, but yeah, what a cool dude and just a funny, I loved his character in Mr. Ed, I have to say. Um, his demeanor and everything and the characters that he played. You definitely want to go back and check out some of those episodes. But here is the actual final resting place for him and some other members of the Keaton family located right here in the heart of Portland. And like I said, he was a very, very famous face on TVs and movies from the 40s all the way up until the 60s. He was usually seen playing an intellect, a good friend, or a snob in such films as The Incredible Mr. Limpet, co-starring Don Knotts. He was also in When Worlds Collide and Monkey Business, The Eddie Dutchin Story, and Daddy Longlegs. He's probably best remembered as his role as Harry, Harry Morton from 1953 to 1958 on The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show. And like I said, as the kind of uptight, stuffy, nosy neighbor of Mr. Ed. And his character was George Addison on that show. But him and his wife on the show were kind of nosy um, uh, as to what Mr. Ed was up to. But what a cool thing. Not only is he in, uh, buried here in Portland, so the tie to Portland and Oregon, but somebody said that before Larry made it into Hollywood, he was actually the chief announcer on KGW and KEX from 1935 through 1936. 
and both those stations were owned and housed at the Oregonian, which is our our publication newspaper out here. Um, but yeah, what a cool story. And as I'm looking here, I'm actually noticing a couple more little details, which we're gonna walk up here right now and check out. But if you guys are anything like me, the acting involved in these shows were super good. Um, timeless, really, the characters that he played. But check this out, you guys. This is actually the final resting place of him. And here is the actual epitaph. August 11th, 1873 to October 10th of 1945. And if you guys can see, it's got this door here, which holds the final resting place of one of Hollywood's famous actors for many of television shows and movies. And as I'm examining and getting closer, I'm also noticing something very cool. Check this out, you guys, no way. It looks like Mr. Ed is actually here with us. Somebody left a little memento, memorial for him. That is so cool. That is so incredibly cool. But what a great day to come up here and pay our respects to such a famous and great actor. I just, his roles were super funny. It, just like I said, like his demeanor towards Mr. Ed and everything like that was, it, it's his demeanor what made the Wilbur, Mr. Ed and him really collaborate and make for comical and just great TV. But what a beautiful final resting place to be surrounded by these big trees. Incredible. Absolutely. So if you guys remember him from any movies or TV shows, I would love to hear in the comments maybe what your favorite show um, was that you saw him in or if you remember him from the shows. Um, if you remember him from any of the movies, um, anything like that, I would love, love, love to hear about in the comment section. Um, there's definitely some great actors, uh, artists, everything like that from Portland. So very, very cool. Very, very cool. And like I said, probably one of my favorite Shows like Dennis the Menace, Mr. Ed, Green Acres, all those shows that I still see that have been running that are just timeless. Um, just incredible. So it, I also was under, somebody told me that his brother and stuff was actually from here as well. And he started Keaton Studios in Portland in the 40s which later on became Northwestern Recording in 1953 when an employee bought it. Um, but yeah, he definitely did a lot and his family also did a lot here in Portland. So what a great tie and what a beautiful, beautiful way to come up here and pay our respects to such a cool actor, just a good dude all around. And so, yeah, I wanted to bring you guys up here today, and I really appreciate you guys tuning in. So make sure you guys leave in the comments if you guys do remember Mr. Keaton from any other shows other than Mr. Ed and the ones that I told you guys about. Um, but, yeah, this is so cool, and I just am so incredibly happy that somebody left this little memento as well. That's just so cool. So one more time from the final resting place of Mr. Larry Keaton. This is The Creeper. I appreciate you guys as always for tuning in. 
But until we meet again, I love you guys. And with that being said, Creeper out for now. Peace, you guys.